Hey folks, working on the uh, shower, I've got my metal, Gavaloom metal uh, cut to size. Uh, it was about $35 for three pieces. Uh, three pieces will be plenty to do the, the interior right there. So right now I'm going to be fitting them up uh, right now. Well, I've got my first piece in position pretty much where I want it. So I need to go ahead and run some screws in there right now. Well, I hope this works out. <laughs> I have to do some cutting on the next pieces, I think. This fit, so I'm gonna have to cut, cut this right here, and then put a piece of molding over it to cover it up. Well, let's, uh, let's try that saw again, and uh, I got some wood underneath here to keep it from vibrating, and got some tape to protect the uh, finish, so well, let's see how we do here. Well, I finally got the piece cut, the combination of a uh, jigsaw and uh, these scissors here. Tore the meat right off my skin, cutting it, so be careful of these things. Anyways, let's go in and get it fitted inside. All right, it looks like we got some uh, shower walls on. I have to put some, I have to trim this piece here. It sticks out just a little bit too far. I have to cut that back a little bit and have some trim put on the corners. But, and then I've ordered my faucet. I should be getting that in a couple days. Uh, it's just a utility faucet. Uh, it's called an outdoor shower and it's, uh, I got it in a brass. All right, um, I'm starting my uh, bed frame. And the design I came up with is a hybrid uh, wood and metal. So here's the basic frame made out of two by three, or uh, yeah, two by three. 
And then I've got some 14 gauge uh, steel that I'm gonna weld to these angle iron brackets. And then the brackets will be screwed here, here, and then two on the bottom. There'll be four of those going across. And then there'll be a 3 8 piece of plywood on top of this uh, to make my uh, bed frame to support my mattress. So what I'm doing now is uh, cutting, fabricating the brackets and uh, cutting my piece of the metal here. Then uh, once I get it laid out here, I get my welder out and do some welding. So right now that's what I'm going to do. And it just fits right in there like that. Now I'm just going to figure out my spacing right now. Cutting some metal to make brackets for the actuators. Uh, there'll be two pieces of metal on each side of the, the wood frame, and then there'll be a pin that goes through uh, the actuator. So that's what I'm cutting off right now. This cutoff saw is just a uh, cheap uh, Harbor Freight uh, cutoff saw. I've had it for like five years. I've used the heck out of it. I haven't had any problems with it. Uh, I know sometimes Harbor Freight tools can have some problems with quality control, but I've, uh, I've pretty much put this one through the paces. It's worked pretty good for me. Basically, this is all I'm doing is just making a couple straps be screwed into the frame, and then I'll drill some holes, and then I'll just put a pin through here, and the actuator goes up and down, it'll push the bed up, so it's simple that. Well, I've got the, all my metal cut up, my brackets uh, fabricated, and uh, now I'm going to and spot welding the uh, metal frame uh, to the brackets and that's what I'm working on right now. Uh, this uh, welder I'm using is a uh, Harbor Freight Special 90 amp uh, 110 volt. Uh, it uh, does a good job for little stuff like this. Hey folks, got my bed installed, uh, proof of concept. Uh, I'll go ahead and run it up and down in just a second, show you how it works. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, got the linear actuators, 12 volt, uh, 30 inch travel. I've got two on this side and one on the other side. Uh, these rollers are uh, heavy duty, three inch industrial garage door wheels. Um, and these tracks are uh, rubber made uh, uh, Shelby tracks. So let's go ahead and run it up and down.
travel is 12 millimeters a second. Uh, it's not the fastest in the world, but uh, they're good for like 200 pounds a, a piece. So uh, once the mattress is on here and it's pushed against the ceiling, well, you can see here it's pretty sturdy. Not having a whole lot of movement, but uh, put it pushed against the ceiling, it'll probably be even sturdier. Um, but anyways, uh, let's go ahead and put it back down. Plenty of room for uh, motorcycles underneath here. 